<sighs> Hi everyone, Poppany Sartano here, the internet's busiest music nerd. And it's time for a review of the new Bruno Mars record, 24 Karat Magic. Bruno Mars, famed singer, pop singer, songwriter, back with his third full-length album, a horrible title, not that good of a, a, an album cover either, but this thing kind of threw me for a loop. Did not anticipate enjoying this as much as I did. And I think that's because over the past several years, Bruno Mars has learned a pretty important lesson about his career. And that is when he has a huge hit, it's when it's kind of a bit of a throwback, a huge reference point to an older musical act or popular sound, like with the song Locked Out of Heaven, which was a gigantic uh, nod to the police, or uh, with Uptown Funk with uh, Mark Ronson. Big electro-funk Huey Lewis and the news vibes on that single. It seems like all he needs to do is just repeat this throwback formula until his bank account just gains more zeros. In fact, I think that's what the title of this album might be in reference to, just how much money he thinks he's going to make off of this thing. And so far, the prediction seems to be true, given that the lead single, the title track from this thing, has well over 100 million hits on YouTube right now, and uh, is easily one of the biggest songs of the year. The song is so goddamn irresistibly fun. The only kind of person I can imagine hating 24 Karat Magic, uh, the single, is, is someone who hates hates smiling. Maybe like the, the, the preacher dad from the Footloose movie. No dancing, no dancing at all. On this track, Lil Bruno Mars goes full James Brown, dude. He lays some stank on this beat with some great synth funk leads as well as a kind of gurgly bass line that I love a lot. And also, Bruno Mars's vocal delivery on this thing is super bombastic, charismatic, it's over the top, it's braggadocious, it's got a lot of swagger, and Bruno follows suit with a bulk of the songs on this record. Pulling from that same era in the late 70s and the 80s, of R&B and electro-funk. He even dabbles in a little bit of New Jack swing on the song Finesse, which was kind of surprising considering that is one of the 80s many musical dead ends that not many artists today explore, even when they're sort of throwing back to that decade. This thing overall is a very tight nine tracks. It runs just over 30 minutes, so Bruno doesn't really leave himself a lot of room for error. Every song here has to be a smash. Every song here has to be a banger. The song Perm is amazing. I would say it's an even sharper and more vibrant tribute to James Brown with its funky drumming and hot horn sections and Bruno Mars going even crazier with these yelling, shouty verses. And the song That's What I Like, even though this track I think at its core, at the songwriting, at the balladry, at the at the center of this song. It has a bit of an old soul, but the sounds surrounding this song, like the very snappy 808 drums or the kind of punchy but smooth rushes of chords throughout the track, very, very 2016. Also, I like the lyrics on this track about spoiling your lover with the finer things in life. And of course, there are plenty of slow jams to be had in the track listing on this thing as well. Like with the song Calling All My Lovelies, I like the very steamy nocturnal keys and beat on this track. And I think it's really funny toward the end of the cut, you get a bit of a skit where Bruno Mars is calling one of his honeys on the phone and he gets the voicemail box of none other than Halle Berry. And then we have the cut Versace on the floor, which is the alpha slow jam on the record. God, the glistening keys and the slow, funky, but I don't know, kind of tropical beat on this thing has definitely a Michael Jackson vibe to it, without a doubt. Especially with how Bruno is singing over the instrumental. Versace on the floor. <laughs> it's so sexy, it's so sensual, uh, but not every slow jam on this thing is excellent. I mean, the song Straight Up and Down uh, has <laughs> these moments where Bruno's come-ons do get a little corny, uh, even though I do love the line on this thing where he is uh, singing about celebrating this particular w woman's booty. You know, I, I celebrate the booty. Anthony Fantano celebrates the booty. But I think the trashy lyrics and the repetitions of straight up throughout the track uh, is just one of a handful of moments on this thing where I think the new 
and the old sort of clash in a really tacky way. I feel roughly the same way about the song Chunky as well. And there's not really too much more about the album outside of that. You know, this thing is enjoyable, but of course it has its flaws. It gets a little too mellow too fast for my taste. I also think that it uses nostalgia as a bit of a crutch to sort of carry the album from start to finish and make the album enjoyable to the average listener. Like, oh, they'll, they'll remember this sound or maybe they'll sort of be wowed by this different musical sound that they're unfamiliar with because maybe it was before their time or something. And a few tracks pale in comparison uh, to one another here and there. All that being said, I think this is Bruno Mars's best album. Surprisingly good tunes on this thing. And I think it's a pretty tasteful celebration of an era in pop music that I think we as listeners and musicians can still learn quite a bit from. There are a few moments on this record where I think Bruno has in fact mastered this style, this sound, um, and, and at its worst uh, he just kind of merely appreciates it, but sort of shows at least a deeper level of appreciation for it than a lot of his contemporaries. You know, this thing is nostalgia, but it's not cheap nostalgia. It's like really spendy, bougie designer nostalgia. So uh, just go into this album expecting that, I suppose. I'm feeling a strong six to a light seven on this one. Transition, have you given this album a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like. Please subscribe. And please uh, don't cry. Just leave an angry comment if you're pissed off. Uh, I hope you're doing well. All sorts of uh, links next to my head. Click them. Videos, subscription, official website. All right, guys. Eat some veggies, drink some water, forever.